Welcome back, I'm Paul, and today is Sunday, so we're gonna go through our 12 pound barrel and see how everything's looking in there. All right. That's what everything looks like, just taking the lid off. We're getting to have quite a few large rocks in here, so I'm hoping to get some of those to the point where they're ready to move the next stage so we can get some more smaller stuff in here. But some of those larger rocks have a lot of stuff going on with them that need attention. There's our first basket load. I can see that granite with the white quartz band, and there's that piece of blue tiger eye we just threw in for last week for the first time. We'll take a closer look at that later. that we're tumbling and some of our uh, Mookieite Jasper and some other things. Oh yeah, that one's looking really nice. There's our piece of amethyst we put in last week. All right, I'll go through those like I do every week and we'll see what's ready to move to the next stage. And we'll come back and fill the barrel back up and get it going for another week. All right, so we actually had some stuff coming out this week. I've got this large green rock that it has one spot on it right back here, you can see, but it's going to have to tumble for a long time to get rid of that, and everything else looks good. So I think it looks like it'll polish. So I'm going to pull it out, and uh, when I have a three-pound barrel, I'll see if it'll fit my lotto, which I'm not sure. If it will, I'll probably put it in the lotto. Otherwise, when I have a three-pound barrel available, we'll try tumbling it there. And we've got uh, a couple pieces of the Mookieite, all those, and then this piece of agate that we've been kind of looking at. It's Chalcedony. That's ready to go. And we've got some other couple pieces of Wild Horse Picture Jasper that we're still rolling around in there. And then this is like a moss agate that has like red moss in it. That's really cool. And that yellow piece there is just a piece of the Mookieite Jasper. So all that stuff is ready to move on. And we have, we're going to look at a few of these. This is our piece of quartz that we're going to try to polish. And it just has some impurities in it right here, and it's kind of rough there. And I'm hoping we can get, it's just on the outside surface, mostly it looks like. So I think we'll probably tumble that a few more weeks to get that cleaned up as best as we can. The rest of it looks pretty nice. And then this is the really big rock that we've been rolling. And it hasn't changed a lot. It's really smooth, and we're working on all the imperfections, and it's getting better and better. So we'll see what that does. And then also, this is another one of our pieces that we've been watching. It was really rough when we put it in, and it's still pretty rough. I could see that being in there a long time before it gets to the point where we're ready to try polishing it. This is another one of our green ones, and it's got 
this spot back here. We're going to let that roll a little bit longer and try to get rid of some more of that. The rest of it looks pretty decent. A couple little spots right there that'll be long, long before this. So we're just going to let that roll a little bit and see what it does. We've got the piece of granite that's got the band of quartz running through it. That's pretty neat. I like that one. And it's feeling, it's feeling pretty good. It's a little bit rough right here. I'm hoping to smooth this back part up a little bit more. And then we'll try to polish that. That last piece of granite we did polished pretty nice. So I'm pretty, I've got some hopes that maybe this piece will polish up nice like that one did. And this is another one of the ones that we've been looking at. It's kind of got a gray camo look to it. I'm probably see it easier, better in person than in the camera, but it just has a few spots back here. It's getting really close. It's come a long ways. It doesn't look bad at all, but there's just some rough spots back here that I'm hoping to get rid of a little bit more of that, and it'll probably polish up pretty nice, I think. Not too crazy colors going on with it, but here's a few of the Mookieite Jasper that we've been kind of just watching a few of them. They've got quite a bit of color to them. Iowa State fans probably like those ones. Lots of reds and yellows. And this is a piece of agate that we've been kind of looking at. And it's got that layer on the outside. And it's going away. There's still quite a bit. But we're, we're exposing more and more of the agate. And getting rid of more of the rough stuff on the outside. So that'll probably go a few more weeks. And we'll probably give it a shot trying to polish it. And I think it should polish up nice, all that calcetin does. So these are the three that we put in last week that we had just gotten. And I wanted to get a sample of this, all these going. And this is the amethyst that we just got. I believe it's Moroccan amethyst. I did forget to look on their site again, but I'm pretty sure it was Moroccan amethyst. But I'll look again to double check before we, long before it's ready to move on. But that's pretty neat. It's got all the purples. Alyssa really likes that one. And then also this one too, part of the reason I picked all these is she likes the pinks and the purples. This is a big piece of rose quartz. You can kind of see some lines in it. It's looking pretty nice. Uh, it'll be rolling a little bit while, a little bit longer before it's ready to move on, but it's come a long ways in a week. And then this is our piece of uh, blue tiger eye. And it's looking pretty good. There's some things that I can see now that I didn't even know were in there last week when we threw it in. And this is an end cut. We cut it all up because it came in big pieces like that big. And this was the end. That's why I figured we'd throw this one in. And it's got a crack in it right here. I may end up trying to break that eventually. Or it may break on its own. Because I had some that I cut where that crack was. They broke. So this one might too. But I don't know how much of that you can see in the camera. But it's got the cool blue look to it. I think once we get some of these pieces going in the three pound barrel, they're going to turn out looking really nice, but that's our sneak preview to see what the blue tiger eye looks like. So the barrel has lost some throughout the week and we took some out, obviously a little bit too much water in there right now. All right. So I think we will, I've got these two pieces that we're going to throw in. I don't know exactly what they are. They're pieces we found. I think that this is chert. It, when you get it wet, that gray on the inside, it's, it's got a waxy look to it and it has a conchoidal break, conchoidal fracture, I believe they say the chert does because they can nap it and stuff. So we're just gonna let those roll for a while. I don't know what they are, but we found them and they look kind of neat. And then I've got a large piece of petrified wood. We've had another piece in there. This stuff is a little bit too big for my saw. And every time I try to cut it, it seems like it breaks up. So I'm going to just throw this big chunk in there and get it rolling too. And it'll go a long time before it'll be ready to polish. But it's been sitting on my bench for a while. I want to get something else going in here. So there's that. And then we've got this bucket of miscellaneous stuff that we're going to fill the barrel up to the two-thirds and three-quarters. And that should do it. I'm going to put just a little bit more water in there. I dumped out too much. That should be, that should be good. And I watched some other, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube of rock tumbling and stuff. And I watched some people that say that they put uh, one and a quarter cups of grit. So I got the measuring cup out today and I normally do 14 tablespoons. And my 14 tablespoons comes up to be just about three quarters of a cup. 
So I'm using quite a bit less, but I found when I used more in the seven days, I felt like I had grit left over in there. So, and I felt like I've been having pretty good luck with the 14. So I'm just going to keep rolling my 14. I just wanted to know how it compared to the cup and a quarter, if I was using more or less. And I'm using quite a bit less. And I still feel like I'm getting good results. So we're going to keep running with it. So we'll get that on the tumbler. We'll roll for another week and we'll be back. We'll be back to look at it next week. Thanks for watching.